We're here at Sega Duda with Wall Z and we're here to find what this is about. No, I just uh, seen if there's more trains on one. This is Adam from the learning staff, and he's going to tell us a bit more about Sega Dunham. So here we are in the museum at Sega Dunham Roman Fort, Baths and Museum. Can anyone tell me where Sega Dunham is? Some... Yeah. In Wall's End. Wall's End. Why do you think it's called Wall's End? Yeah. Was it Summer Patrons Hall was in Wall's End? Which part do you think of the wall? Yeah. The ending. The end of the wall, or the beginning, depending on which way you want to look at it. In this part of the museum, we have a reconstruction of a stable and a barrack room. Would you live in? Would you like to live in this sort of space? Mm. No, no. Why not? not particularly. It's quite it's nice. Many. The soldiers shared their living quarters with horses, and this fort was used for covering soldiers in battle. Over there. I'm all nice and covered. I just feel like I'm As you can see here, the Romans used to wear a nice little red cloak. With underneath it was a white tunic. Yeah. Tell us what you can yeah. see. There's a man on a horse next to a um, Canadian wall. This is one of my favourite objects. Mm. Reminds me of a toilet with the hole. That's right. Well, I found out that I've, this is really new to me that you, the Romans, used to sit in the toilet together, which is ugh. Gross, and you use a stick on the sponge, and which somebody has used before, which is really gross. This is like a slice through the ground. Over there, we saw the layers, and it's just it's like amazing to think what you're actually like walking and driving over. You think it's just like soil and gravel, clay, uh, tarmac, but it's not. You have like loads of artifacts like underneath. You've got like you can see the, where the walls were. And you can see the outside of the building. It's, just, it's very clear. This is a big area and 600 men lived here. This is Main Street. It looks different. After the site was abandoned in about 410, buildings begin to fall down. And the site isn't really used for, for many hundreds of years, but it begins to get occupied again. And by the time you get to the 18th century and Victorian times, this becomes a very industrial site.